opposite. It just walks in the room and everybody just like sighs. Can I? Um, hey, Brian, my producer. So the cue card thing we have going on that if people sign up for a cue card for the first time, they get a $40 credit back towards a future shopping experience. Is that also in tandem with the fact that if you use your QVC credit card, everything is on six easy payments? Ah, nice. Okay. Even if it's not on any easy pay? Oh, yeah. Lovely. Then speaking of, Wait, do you work here at QVC? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I ask yeah, myself exactly. that. Um, so the bummer about these, and there's only one bummer, oh, is that they are these. in the show, but so they have huge. no Easy Pay. So to get Easy Pay, you will be using your QVC credit but that's, card. To me, like you get these pants at any price. Hey, look at this. This is just comes, the chicest thing listen, in the world. Listen, our director is Ron, and he's going to do this amazing thing called a tight shot. And you should know that this is these are your best-selling 24/7 stretch, stretch shapewear, shapewear woven pull-on pants. It has this wonderful little lace kind of tuxedo stripe down the side oh, that match. And it's scalloped. I mean, the colors are sick. So okay, these also were new as of December, so they're they're really um, kind of new-ish to the collection, mm -hmm. and they come in regular, petite, and tall. And they're under 50 bucks, which I find very hard to believe given the lace. Okay, so that these. color Me is too. dark emerald. This is dark emerald. See that lace matched? I would be I all that. over the black. Me too. The black, I mean, you kind of need those black, right? And I cannot get over how awesome the mahogany is. Mahogany is great, right? And, and then really finally chic. navy, which I think comes spring particularly with just like nautical. And I mean, gray. right? So great. Um, and there's the... Um, the dark navy. So these Divine. are numbered sizing, and you can get easy pay on your QVC credit card. The only other time that you can get these under 50 bucks is is now, or maybe one day, a long time from now when they maybe kind of go on clearance because really the price is going up after tonight and black is already starting to sell out in our smaller sizes in regular inseam. All right, so tell me 24-7. Well, it's the 24-7 fabric that everybody adores. And I feel like if you know that fabric, you're looking for other ways to wear it because people have it in solids, they have it in prints. We've done like all kinds of like flock dots, etc. And this I think is one of my favorite iterations. It's just the simplest edition of that wonderful tuxedo stripe in the lace going down the leg there right but if you know 24 7 stretch it is 51 percent cotton 42 percent rayon which makes it look so expensive and then seven percent spandex right so when you pull those on you pull them on like leggings there's no there's no buttons or zippers or anything there's no like functioning pockets so there's no lumps or bumps mm -hmm. and then it holds your tummy in this incredible way while still being so incredibly comfortable and then your butt looks cute. It holds oh, your butt man, up. Oh man, does it hold your it butt up? It doesn't wrinkle or bag, or your butt doesn't bag out. Your knees don't bag out if you're sitting for a while, right? Yes, Seriously. and you've worn these. You know these. I've bought these. I know. I know. Which is very rare for me because pants are a whole nother like Everest to climb when it comes, I think, to a woman's yes. fit and you're her not comfort a pants level. Wearer. You're. The, let's just put it this way. What? I have two pairs of pants in my wardrobe. And one of them is yours. I like it. And that's, I'll take you know, it. I mean, obviously denim doesn't count, leggings don't count. Right. So, um, can we talk about the lease for a second, though? Yeah. Because something I have seen you doing a lot of this year, or le as of last year, really. Well, lace. Um, is well, certainly that. lace. And so I think it's a fresh take on it. But this tuxedo yeah. concept. Well, everyone loves it so much. It's such an incredibly customer favorite sort of idea. I feel like it makes the leg look a bit slender. It just, yes, it does. It kind of does that slenderizing thing on the leg, but it's also um, dressy, you know, like it just takes a pair of pants and like makes them, it just elevates them, sure. right? Like, like those boots, you know, like that top we just showed, right? It's like all these kind of things that are like slightly dressier than you'd expect. Like you wouldn't expect it to have the lace. And then it does, which is I think sort of like a witty little nod, you know? Can I just give an update? By the way, this sweater is coming and in these colors, I think the tonalness of this um, together, like in the burgundy is Oh, that is, is beautiful. Genius. That's Tall called mahogany. Almost, yes, tall is almost sold out. There's navy, there's black, and then clearly the color of the year as we got into the final chapter mm -hmm. of 2018 was pine or emerald well, or whatever you want to call it. This is called dark emerald, I yeah, think, right? Yeah. And this but I mean, color it's like, is you know, gorgeous. I yeah. love it. Me too. I, was I love this with black. This against the t with the teal top at the, sure. the beginning of the show. Gorgeous. And also, by the way, what about with your sweater and a black t-shirt? Like, so are you I don't think that's wrong at all. Those two colors together, that's 
gorgeous. If you had you know? to pick a preference, yeah. would it be, are you a monochromatic tonal guy or do you prefer the mix and match of color? It really depends on a lot of things. Mm. Depends on the woman. Mm -hmm. It depends on where she's going. It depends on her mood, you know? Okay. Fine. That's what I think. I think it all looks good if the woman feels right in it. You all know, right, maybe this is idea. a better question. What's we have something question? from Ask PM Style. I mean, okay. excuse me, <laughs> Freudian slip. Ask Isaac. Ask um, Isaac. It's from Hetty. And Love the name um, already. great name. Hetty already. Hetty already. Mm -hmm. Hetty would like to know who gave you your first real break in fashion. My first real break in the fashion world, I would say, was Perry Ellis, because I worked for him when I was like, you know, 18 years old. How did that you even get a job, job with him? I went on an interview. Like it was just advertised in the paper? No, or no, no. I was going to Parsons, and he was a critic at Parsons, and he was looking for people, and they sent me to see him, and he hired me. And so there you go. It's and the so rest there you go. And, and the rest is history. I worked there. By the way, speaking of my memoir that's coming out on February 26th, I like, can't wait. There's a long part of it. It's about Perry Ellis. What chapter am I in? You're, in? you're towards the end of the book. You are. I'm serious. Do I get at least one full sentence? You or get is a it sentence, like... yes. And you might like it. It's a very, very sweet really? little sentence. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, I'm kind of excited. Yes. It's about Does my it... mother saying, oh, I love Shawnee Sue. Oh, you know, yeah, exactly. That's thanks. What it is. I... Wow. So I'm kind of surprised you didn't write about the moon being a star or a planet. No, I didn't write about <laughs> that, Sean. I you were trying not. to forget some of the more <laughs> memorable oh, but painful funny. moments we've shared together. Wow, look at this you, girl.